So we are in the Iridium SNOC, that's an acronym for the Satellite Network Operations Center. Uh, this is a center in Northern Virginia, about 30 miles or so outside of Washington, D.C., where for the last 20 years we've been running our Iridium satellite constellation and flying it uh, and controlling the satellites and managing it, and where on launch day we'll be anxiously awaiting the 10 new satellites that will come off the dispenser about 100 minutes into the flight and start phoning home and being managed by these control displays and the people who man the center. So about an hour into the flight, the satellites will start coming off the dispenser about once every minute and a half until they're all deployed. Each satellite will boot itself up, if you will. It will deploy its solar panels, it'll find the sun, it will find the horizon, it'll start positioning itself, and it will start using its secondary data channel to try to communicate with this facility. I mean, this is an example of one of the screens that the operator uses uh, in, in the satellite control software. This one's actually set up for one of the new satellites. This is set up for SV-125, I see. And you can see all the data points. There's there's something like 100,000 different parameters that can be controlled by operators here to make adjustments, to configure it differently, and almost 2,000 commands or so that they can send back and forth to move the satellite, to turn attributes off and on, uh, and to control all aspects of the satellites. Uh, I think people know of us from sort of our services from 20 years ago, the big satellite phones, but don't appreciate that satellite devices have gotten to be quite small. Uh, in fact, in many cases, they're built into a truck or a ship or into an airplane that you don't even see them. Uh, they're being put on shipping containers or on oil and gas pipelines and on, on solar wind farms to bring information back and make, make uh, businesses more efficient. Uh, I think people know our humanitarian side. They know that we're the first on the scenes when really bad things happen and we're critical when you're at the North Pole or in the ocean, but they don't appreciate probably that we're, we've, over the years, become part of the communication fabric of, of the planet, really, and are integrated into so many things with other technologies, like cell phone technology, uh, to do many, many important things. And with this launch today, and with the new satellites that we're putting into space, and the whole new network, we're just excited about so many more things that we can do. It's almost like an, an innovation engine that really is unique that we can create so many new things from. And uh, it, it's created so many things over the last 20 years, I can't even imagine the kinds of things we're going to create over the next 20.